you know, it'll get you to a prom date, I guess. The fat girl. Um, yeah, I don't want it to start. And I think we're going to pinch the fuel line. If we can find the other. Wish I could find my good, uh, good set of pinchers. <clears throat> this hose clamp will hopefully give me enough. I'll put a something a little extra in it to keep it from. Hopefully from spewing too much excess out. Well, that's not good. Huh. So, maybe that cylinder shot all together. Now, if we got it at both sides, then I got a problem. But I have a feeling that. Yeah, so he has no no compression in, in the one cylinder, so I'm going to give him a call. Works now. Oh, you yeah. biscuit. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, we've already did. Oh, I guess I should turn it off so we don't end up with a dead battery there, but. Already determined that we have a uh, uh, bad cylinder here, or no compression in this cylinder. So uh, I'm gonna bring this around to top to the center if I can get something in here. So that appears to be top dead center. We'll uh, insert our hose here. Hopefully. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get into because you can't really see that cylinder of that plug hole. So we already got a charge on that side. Let's get our gauge out if I can find my gauge. <clears throat> right in front of me. It's usually how everything is. So we got 20 pounds on there. I'm not even gonna worry about that. We're not gonna break out. I got the smoke machine up there. I haven't really had great luck with that. And I can already hear hear the sound and it's coming out the exhaust so yeah I can definitely hear it out the exhaust actually Here a little bit in the breather, the breather tube here too, I think. Oh, damn mosquitoes. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure that I hear a little bit coming out the breather. And you can definitely hear it out of the exhaust. that is there but it's definitely air coming out that so we'll report back to Nevin we'll let him know what's going on and uh, I'll upload that to the interwebs 
And the reason I rock it back and forth is like that, we are top dead center. And now we're going out. So we'll let him know that I definitely think that he's got a uh, bent valve, dislocated valve. I guess I can take this off and look since we're already here. Hopefully this is a gasket and not a... Nope, somebody RTV'd it. Nope. All right, there's a gasket. We'll just look at these real quick and yeah, now that I'll smoke like crazy. Oh yeah, look. Uh, oh, you biscuit. This fuel setup is really kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, we don't need, we don't need this anymore. And I know I said I was gonna call him, but we'll see if we can fix this without having to call him. Let's see if we can restore. Compression to that. And then we'll have to doesn't look bent. Looks pretty straight. Maybe a little scarring at the bottom, but I'd say that's pretty dang pretty dang uh close and hey you gotta make sure that you get it back in, in the right hole down here. Cool. We're gonna readjust. Hopefully this is the right hole. And it'll help if I... Yep, we're in the right hole. So we're moving and grooving. And uh, I still think though, we might still have an ignition problem, but let's... Uh, Get the uh, to the fat of it and see if uh, we can adjust those out. I gotta find the specs. They're usually like 0.4 or 0.04. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta find my uh, handy dandy. I gotta find a rag too that's mildly clean around here to get some of the filth off of these. At least the one that I'm going to use. Guess I'm pretty confident that it's probably 0 0.04. We'll double check that before I get too far with it. But let's, uh, I can probably guess top dead center two here. I don't need to have this in there anymore. That one's too tight. And I'm pretty darn confident that we're at top dead center. So I have to find the hole. Where is the hole? <laughs> Good gravy. Well, almost. 
There we go. Where's the magnet? There's the magnet in the travel. Good gravy. All right. Sloppy. Slop sloppy Joe. So let me double check what the uh, the specs are on this. Let's see how high we're going. We're up to, it feels like it's at least one. Look, I guarantee you. Let's see, keep going with it. So hopefully there's not a bad cam lobe or something like that, but if he's lucky, geez. So we fit. A 14014 in there. Uh, that's pretty uh, pretty wide. I think there should be be at 30. 30 is where these are normally at. Uh, yeah, we'll give it to it. And let's do, yeah, they're both set about right. So <clears throat> we'll uh, get the specs. Might as well uh, do both sides while we're in here. Got the cover off. Could have probably done this without tearing the cover off, but uh, initially, I thought it was an ignition issue. I won't lie. Only because uh, of the loss of power on the side. I just I didn't want to point at the uh, point at the obvious things. I'm going to take the carburetor off anyways and give it a cleaning and uh, go from there. Yep. I don't know if you can see that, but there is just a little bit of smuts in the bottom there. Uh, Nothing that I think would impede the uh, flow of fuel, but I figure while I'm in here, might as well, might as well go through it. Here, thank God for the inner interwebs. Otherwise, you'd have to have some old guy with uh, crusty teeth and long hair tell you what everything was. This is uh, 004 to 006, as suspected originally which is one zero to one five millimeter, I should say 0 0.10 to 0 0.15 millimeters. Um, that is for both the exhaust and the intake. Usually that is the case with these V-twins. Uh, so we're already top dead center on this side. We're going to go ahead and uh, adjust both of these out because I mean, that's at end of play, and uh, we can do better. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with the middle guy because I usually have to do this like five or six times. So it'll take me an hour to go ahead and do this because uh, I'm persnickety, I guess, about it. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> you usually get it the first whack go around, but. Uh, Let's uh, find my Allen keys. We'll turn the lock nut off of this. We'll keep those guys out there. Probably missing an Allen key in here because, yeah, look, I know that's for the uh, the single banger crapsman or uh, Briggs and Kraken. Yep. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm missing a lot here. I think I'm missing a whole nother set. Where's my standard at? There it is.
Who let that guy in here? I'm gonna invite you to this party. And I won't get away with an adjustable on that. What size is that? Nope. Where is that guy at? I probably kicked it. Nope, that one's too big. I never understood that why that you know flies want to come into an enclosed space. I can see where the mosquitoes want to come in, but the flies I don't know what I never never got. So Yes, I'm lost. Can you help me find my way? Supposed to be seven foot pounds, I think, on these. And I know we over tightened them now. So. I think we're good. We'll give it a full rotation and go from there. We'll give it a couple rotations, but. I think we're good. Worth anything is uh, for doing this kind of crap. So um, it's a Stanley. It's a pass-through socket kit. I initially bought this for uh, removing the shift cable on my boat, but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted to. Good cat. And as you see, we're kind of right, right there. I would like that to probably move through a little bit. Eh. I think we're all right. I think we're within spec. Nope, that's too, too. Good God, you can't even see these numbers anymore. Sorry, too tight. And 
0 0.04. 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 doesn't fit 0 0.04 fits up here though i gotta readjust this fella and Supposed to be seven foot pounds. I'm sure, it's probably more like ten foot pounds. Use the thicker guy there to get her close to home. And we'll measure a point zero five first. Too thick. Zero four. Whoop. Gotta pull it back out a little bit. So I hate doing these. They're just time consuming. Now if I can find my uh, crustable. Hold that up, it didn't hold. <clears throat> oh, I can't stand flies. Oh, they drive me nuts. Drive me nuts, bonkers. Bonkers, I hate flies. I want to kill them all. I want to kill every fly. Oh, I especially want to kill this one. Try not to step on my gauge down there. I'm sure that I tightened back up. Too much. Drop this on the fucking floor again. Fly is gonna die. Nothing like picking it up off the floor. Dirty crappy floor. I think we're good there. Well, you're probably wondering why I'm back here, and that's because I dropped a bolt over there. Which sucks. Yeah, that's great. A lot of folks don't know, 17 foot pounds for the, uh, for the spark plugs. Uh, actually, you know what? I better double check. It says spark plug is supposed to be 200 inch pounds, which is roughly 17 
foot pounds. We're gonna go or drop it down to 200 inch pounds. I, I never ever like tightening these up. So it's 16.67 foot pounds is what uh, that equals out to. And I always do uh, spark plugs in this fashion because it's an aluminum. I had already done that side, but I'm going to loosen it up and just retorque it. Oh, you biscuit. Retorque it. Hey, 16.7 inch pounds, foot pounds, 200 inch pounds. We're done with that. I'm confident that we have returned compression to this cylinder. And I think we'll just go forward and button this thing up. So we got some wheel wobble there. Yeah. I did wipe this gasket out, but yeah. 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 Meh. Meh. I should say wipe this cover out. However, even though I'm confident that the oil filter will pick that little bit of lawn dust out of there, um, try to keep it mildly clean. We can find the other bowl. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I'm going to look at the specs here on this valve cover. Seven Newton meters. Sorry, I think I said seven foot pounds on the. Uh, Rocker arm nut. Um, what we're looking for. Valve cover, 25 inch pounds on a 10 millimeter, 25 inch pounds. That's foot pounds, inch pounds. You biscuit. Ten millimeter, please come back to me. That's a broken. It's not a whole lot, just so some people just ran these on, and I know I over tightened that one. That's all it is. Um, <clears throat> and I think what we'll do, we'll just fire it up here, put it.
put the uh, nuts on and run it this way for a second or two. We'll make sure it fires before completely assembling it. And we'll just, I would normally just hand tighten those, but I don't want to ruin the gasket that's on there either. But I also want to make sure that I have a uh, good fit while we're out doing this. Gonna half ass some stuff. I think I've been at this for a couple hours now. Uh, feels like it. I have to look at look at uh some of the time frames there. And hopefully if I'm lucky, I'll fire right up. And I won't have too many problems with that. I just whenever, whenever ready. I can't talk. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to burn a little oil off of that. I spilt some. Uh, and I won't run it too long out there because I don't want to suck too much dirt up into it without having uh, without having the air filter on there. A uh, little bit. Not so good. A lot, though. Really bad. Uh, and uh, I'm confident that we got that squared away. Uh, cool. We'll put that back together a little bit later. I'll give Nevin a call and let him know that uh, we're all fixed up and ready to go.